Hi, this how to one minute gonna show you how to easily upgrade to latest version of MySQL in XAMPP server. Follow this easy and step by step guide to upgrade your MySQL server. First of all, launch your XAMPP control panel in your computer and start Apache and MySQL. And now go to your browser and from your XAMPP control panel, just click on admin and it will directly jump into your localhost PHP My Admin dashboard. And here under database, as you can see, my current MySQL server version is 10.4.32 MariaDB. Now let's see how to easily upgrade this MySQL version to latest version. First of all, stop your Apache and MySQL in XAMPP control center. And now we have to download latest version of MySQL server. So go to your browser and search for download MariaDB, search for it and open this first link, download MariaDB server. And here select MariaDB server and MariaDB server version, click on this drop down and at the top of this list, you will find the latest version of MySQL server. Just select the latest version. So here's some selecting 11.4.2 and operating system click on this drop down and select your operating system architecture select your architecture and package type select zip file and now just click on download and as you can see my MariaDB is downloading it may take some time to completely download it depends on your internet speed once successfully downloaded, go to your file explorer download folder and here you will find the MariaDB. Now you have to extract this zip file. Once successfully extracted, now you have to just cut this main folder and paste it anywhere. Okay, now we have to rename this folder. So rename this folder to MySQL. And now you have to open your XAMPP folder. Open your control center, open your XAMPP control panel and just click on Explorer. And you will directly jump into your XAMPP folder as you can see. And inside of XAMPP folder, scroll down and search for MySQL folder. Now we have to rename this folder. So just type here old downloaded and now from your downloaded folder you have to just copy this MySQL folder and paste it here. And now, now we have to open this MySQL old folder. So I'm going to opening this in a new window and this is my MySQL old folder and I'm going to opening my MySQL new folder. Now we have to copy backup folder from our MySQL old folder. So copy this folder and just paste it here. And also copy scripts folder from MySQL old folder and paste it into new MySQL folder. And then copy MySQL installer service dot BAT and MySQL uninstall service dot BAT from MySQL old folder and paste it into MySQL new folder. And now from MySQL old folder go to bin folder and here scroll down and here you will find this my.ini file just copy this file from here and paste it into new MySQL folder bin folder and now we have to edit this my.ini file so select the file and open this 
file in a text editor. And in text editor, press Ctrl F and in the search box type skip skip dash federated and search for it. And here make sure to add a slash before skip dash federated and here you have to type skip dash grant dash tables and here search for innodb underscore additional and if you see any line available just go ahead and you have to delete innodb additional entire line and then make sure to save changes and just cross this notepad and now here search for mysql upgrade.exe just double click on it and now click on more info and click on run anyway once done go to mysql main folder of both mysql old and new and then and now in mysql new folder select data folder and we have to rename this folder data underscore new and then go to your mysql old folder and from your mysql old folder you have to copy this data folder and paste it into mysql new folder and you are done now you can close every file explorer and now open your zamp control panel and start apache and mysql now go to your browser and again open localhost slash php my admin and then under database server you will see your server version has been successfully updated so this is how we can do it if this video helped you out please leave a like and leave a comment down below thank you for watching